Yo, yo, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to do some green screen stuff. Should be pretty simple. So as long as we have a green screen to use, this should be for you. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to do some nice, simple things like this. Basically nested scenes you can use to give your stream a little bit more flair. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. So the first thing we want to do is hop into OBS. And in OBS, we're going to create another scene. And in this scene, I'm going to name it my webcam just to make it simple. Uh, and this webcam there or this scene is only going to have your webcam source inside of it. OK, we're basically going to put this scene into other scenes to achieve the effect that you just saw. So on the scene, not on the source on the actual scene, we're going to right click it. And then we're going to add a filter. If you click this plus button right here. Uh, you're going to go over to chroma key. I already have it right here. As you see, I toggle it on and off. Uh, and then if uh, to, in order to make it smooth like this, I mean, this is not the best example, but you're going to mess with the uh, similarity, smoothness and key color spill reduction to make it look as natural as possible. OK. Once you achieve that, you go ahead and close that. And in this case, I am going to crop it. So if you hold the alt key, you can crop it. I'm just going to drag all the sides. Just to make it easier for future scenes. Okay. Boom. boom. All right. Now I'm going to expand it a little bit bigger. So it's easier to see. And now we have this. Oh, let me crop that a little bit more. I don't want to see any of the edges or the glimmers on the edges. All right. So now we are going to duplicate this scene. So our webcam scene, we're going to duplicate. So you can right click duplicate. And in this case, I'm going to name it VFX. I'm just going to name it VFX. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to do VFX and on the VFX scene, I am going to right click it and add another filter. In that filter, I'm going to do color correction. Now you can choose whatever color you want, but I'm going to use red just in this example. And boom, boom It's making everything in this scene red now. So we're gonna go ahead and make another scene and I'm gonna call this uh, master VFX. And in this master VFX scene, I'm going to add both scenes that I just made. So I'm going to make my webcam scene and then I'm going to add my VFX scene. I'm going to drag. I'm going to make sure my uh, webcam is on top. And then for the VFX scene, uh, I am going to make it a little bit bigger just so it's an outline. So if we go into the green scene, You see that we have a little outline. Um, <clears throat> so you can do this. Uh, you can make another VFX scene if you want. So you can do uh, right click on the VFX and then you can uh, duplicate it. I'm going to name this uh, VFX one. Boom, boom. And then right click again, go to the filters and then under color correction, you can change the color. Let's do uh, blue. Boom, boom. And then the master scene, you can go back and add that scene that we just made VFX one. I'm going to drag this to the bottom. And then for the same thing, I'm going to lock VFX. And then in the blue scene, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, I need to turn snapping sources off so I can uh, realign it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Advanced. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, maybe not advanced. General. Put a studio virtual importer system tray projectors. Uh, well, I don't know. Snap sources to other sources. No, snap sources at the edge of the screen. No. Well, yeah. 
we'll apply that. So now we can fine tune our outline. Awesome. Boom, boom, boom. So you can make this look however you want. And you can add as many colors as you want as well. So you just got to play around with it. Uh, but as you can see, it was just a silhouette, right? In this case, uh, if you want the, uh, what is it? What is it? The, uh, if you want the render delay that you saw in this example, where you kind of see the, uh, silhouettes following behind me, pretty easy to do that as well. Uh, we can just go back to any VFX. So what does it do for both of them? Uh, so if you right click on the VFX scene, go to filters, we're going to add another filter. And for here, we're going to add a render delay. I'm going to use 100. Oops. Go back to filter render delay. I'm going to go use 100. Boom, boom. So now we go back to our VFX scene. You see that the red is has a, uh, a little delay. Let me go VFX one. Let me add another filter. And then I'm going to do a render delay for this as well. And for this one, I'm going to do 200. So it's a little more delayed. So now you see we have a render delay just like that. So you can do this as many times as you want. Uh, so for VFX one, if we duplicate this again, let's make it a VFX two. Boom, boom. And for this one, if you right click, go to filters. You see now that the render delay is already in here because we just duplicated that scene. So I'm going to change this to 300. And then for the color correction, I'm going to change the color as well. Let's make this one yellow. And then in our master scene, uh, we can go ahead and add, oops. Yeah, master scene. Go ahead and add another that scene that we just made VFX to. Boom, boom, drag that to the bottom. And now we, uh, and then we have to make this bigger as well. Let me lock this scene on top. Go ahead and just as you need. And now we have three different colors in our scene. All with a bit of, little bit of a render delay. So you can mess with the render, render delay uh, numbers, uh, just, whatever you feel is uh, best for your scene. So I'm going to give you an example for uh, the game scene. So if we just make a game scene, uh, game scene, how to set this up. Uh, we can do a display capture. Come on, where are you at? All right, display capture. Let's do the top monitor. Let me transform this and fit the screen. Boom, boom. So that's just my, uh, a monitor up here. Let's open up a uh, Twitch. Just so we have something to look at. All right. So, and I'm going to add a scene. We're going to add our master VFX scene. Okay. So the Twitch in the background is going to simulate, uh, like our gameplay, right? And on here, let me see. I'm going to want to alt this a little bit. It's kind of awkward because my webcam is above. It's not really centered, but we can still make this work. So I cropped it. I cropped my source a little bit more. And let me center it over here and see how that works. Cool. So you can see, you can kind of see how you can, uh, work this into your gaming scene. Of course you want to clean up your, uh, your chroma key when you can, and you can add a whole bunch of different effects or colors if you want. So this was just the start of a basic green screen tutorial. They can add to your streams. If you want to learn how to do something like this, where it has like the RGB effect silhouette around me, I'm going to be going over that in another video. It's basically using a, a shader plugin you can get for free.
in OBS. So if you're interested in that, make sure to like and follow on this video. This is going to be coming out soon. Okay. Until then, we'll see you next time.